What's going on guys? I got another 1x player video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the PS2 emulator um, because you guys requested that. And if you want to see any specific game for PS2, uh, leave it in the comments or leave a games list. This way I have an idea of what games you guys want to see running because actually I just handpicked a, uh, handpicked a whole bunch of games and just added it to a folder from my PS2 game list just to show you guys some gameplay. But if you guys want to see any specific games leave it in the comments here and I'll do a video too because I don't know if you guys are gonna even like the games that I'm gonna play on here before we get started I wanted to show you guys the settings first of all the version that I'm on the PS2 version uh, the emulated version is 1.7.0 dev 1921 and uh, that was one of the um, I guess nightly builds from two weeks ago when I put up the poll asking you guys which which I want to see on the uh, 1x player and uh yeah so i haven't updated since i am running 9955 i just upgraded today actually because i wanted to try out call of duty vanguard which didn't run so well but it still ran better than black ops cold war which doesn't run at all so it has that um that death loop weird graphical glitch but i was getting 50 to 60 fps so that's a plus so I think we're going to be able to play Vanguard probably with the next Intel update since they fixed Deathloop. All right, but going back to the uh, mission at hand, I wanted to show you guys the settings before I got started. Okay, this is default settings here. Hopefully this is clear on the video. Um, I didn't mess with any of this stuff here, any of this stuff until you get to uh, the window. So I believe this is default. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I have standard 4x3, which means we're going to get the default aspect ratio that PS2 is supposed to be. And um, I have V-Sync on because I was getting a little micro stutters. Not sure if V-Sync is going to make a difference. I was getting micro stutters that wasn't affecting the FPS, if that makes any sense. So I don't know what that means. But I'm, I, I just enabled V-Sync on before this video, so I don't know what kind of behavior it's going to get. Instant VU1 without MTVU only. That's on by default, I believe. And it's uh, the preset is safe, which is two. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're playing. Um, and also, while you're watching this video, keep in mind, I'm, I'm not in any form or shape telling you to use these settings. And they're the best settings. This is just the settings that generally work for me. Meaning, like, for example, the PS2 emulator is not like uh, some other emulators where you could have custom settings for any specific game, to my knowledge. Meaning that you have to have like a default general auto setup where everything at least works for the most part. Because it doesn't let you individually have settings for each game. So this is what I'm showing you. I'm giving you guys a starter. Um, so you guys can have something to start off with and then you can mess around with it to your liking. Now for me... Direct 3D 11 seems to work best. We do have OpenGL. Um, OpenGL, uh, I it looks a little bit better. I've gotten more glitches. Direct 3D 11 gets glitches too, but it doesn't seem that bad. Uh, graphical glitches. So for me, Direct 3D 11 seems to work better, but you guys can try that. Uh, I wouldn't go with software. I mean, you can try it. And don't click on null unless you're a psychopath. Okay? I know you got I know a lot of psychopaths out there that's gonna click that. Alright. Accurate date, all of this stuff was default except I used 2x native. Now some games you can go up to 5x or 6x. You can get 4K internal resolution. Doesn't really make a significant difference in the picture quality than two to three X resolution. So I would stick with two X resolu resolution. And just copy the rest of these settings that I have here. They are mostly default. Um, okay. And you're pretty much good after that. That's pretty much all I changed. And, you know, then you add the controls and everything like that. Okay. So, I put a handful of games. Like I said, I don't know if these are games that you guys want to see playing. I just handpicked and, and choose the handful of games. So, I'm just going to get into it. Um, okay. So... I'm going to write a note to, for you guys to skip to five minutes in to get to gameplay. Let's start with Bloody Roar. I think it's Bloody Roar 4. Yep. 
Now, I'm extracting this. I guess it's a, uh, a GZ file. So it might not run right away. Oh, that's just the ISO selector. So why didn't it run the game? I don't know. Always ask when booting. Drive selector. Okay, boot ISO. Okay, that's what I was supposed to click. Not ISO selector. Okay, so I do have the performance metrics on the screen. Let me turn off my light so you guys can see what's going on. And I have my sound connected to the speaker system there. So, we should be able to hear it clearly. If I start yelling, please forgive me. Because I'm going to hear the, the sound system really loud. Alright, let's mess around with some games. Put this in a comfortable spot. Speaker got a delay, huh? Seemed like it. Yep. So the speakers seem good. The problem is the speaker sound is a little delayed. Hopefully that doesn't mess with you guys. Alright, so that was Bloody Roar 4. Uh, let's, check a, let's check a different game. As you can see, it runs fine. Alright, next we're going to be checking out Burnout Revenge. Just remember to keep the same settings and you should be A OK. Now, I notice with these settings, Burnout Revenge, it, what happens is when too much is going on, you lose like 2 FPS on 2x resolution. The way to fix that is press turbo mode, solves the problem. Um, hey, traffic? Good. With these settings. But so far, I haven't really seen any graphical glitches in this game, uh, as well as uh, Bloody Roar. Bloody Roar has some kind of shadow thing going on in this game I didn't see any graphical glitches but if you notice you're losing FPS you just hit the turbo button turbo mode and uh, should be good to go now you should know I suck at racing games however crashing games oh yeah you see how it's dropped I just put on turbo mode now we should be good Um, okay. Yeah. So, I'm not good at crashing games or racing games. Just so you guys know. Okay, so it's turbo mode where it drops like 1 FPS. But 
as you see, for the most part, <laughs> this stays at a solid 60 with turbo mode. But so far, of what I've tested, the only games I would recommend putting turbo mode on is uh, this racing games and, and games like Shadows of the Colossus. Ooh, ooh. I guess I'm not supposed to uh, hit oncoming traffic. Yep, I'm not supposed to hit oncoming traffic. Well. Oh, shit. That was terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's try the next game. Alright, this is Castlevania. Llama the Innocence. Man, we're using the same settings. We didn't do nothing different except turn turbo mode off because the last game really needed it. Now, bear in mind, um, if you playing these games in native resolution instead of 2x resolution, you probably won't even have to turn turbo mode on at all because that's the most compatible. But we're trying to increase the graphical quality here a little bit where it looks good enough on this portable device. ass item. How about that? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I remember something like that. Okay guys, excuse the delayed sound. Uh, the reason why the sound is delayed is because I'm using an external speaker. And apparently the external speaker has a, a one second sound delay, which I never heard of. It's actually not good. That's weird because uh, it only does that with this system. Because uh, I, I use the same speakers on my arcade machine and there's no delay. so Some kind of 1x player crap. Okay, can I can I get across, please? What? What? This is not rocket science. This is not rocket science. Ah. Okay. Okay. Whoa. See, I fell so many times that the graphics started glitching. But yeah, this is the problem with uh, Direct 3D 11. We get some weird. Look at this weird ass graphic glitches. So. I just missed that four, four times. What the hell is this? Whoa. And we, random one second hiccups. Yeah, so in this case, I would I would, I would, would uh, play this game with OpenGL because uh, the graphic glitches get worse. Trust me. Okay, that's enough of this. That is enough of this. Let's try the next game. Okay, guys, now this game is called Chaos Legion. This game, I believe Tekken, Resident Evil Dead Aim. You're going to get these weird lines. And I think Soul Calibur 3 also. Or one of the Soul or all of the Soul Calibers, possibly. 
Anyway, so you get these weird vertical lines in game. Now, in order to fix that, this is a PS2 emulator thing. In order to fix that, I'll show you guys in a second when we get to gameplay. Tis the darkest cliff. Right, as you see, we still got the vertical lines. Let's get to gameplay. All right, as you see in gameplay, the vertical lines are still there. All right, so that that's no good, no bueno, my friend. So the way to fix this, you minimize, you go to graphic settings there, all right? You in, you enable H and W hacks, right? Then go to advanced settings. Okay, align sprite. I don't know if you guys can see that. Align sprite. Okay, okay. And there you go, you got no lines. Looks beautiful. Now, the only thing about a line sprite that I noticed, in some games, it lowers the performance. So, take that with a grain of salt. And you only need to do this if, you, if you're higher resolution than the native PS2 resolution. Right now, we're 2X. Sorry, I had that too loud. I had people sleeping. Excuse me, can I admire, admire my, my fellow demon, please? Yeah, D311 got a lot of uh, glitches. OpenGL does too. I forgot how to do the super move. I don't remember how to do the super move. Oh, now I remember how to do the super move. After everything's dead. All right, let's try another game. Okay, this is uh, Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex. A Universal Interactive Studios production. Developed by Traveler's Tales. Crash Bandicoot. Let's see if this works like the GameCube version. It's a little different. The GameCube version, you can skip the movie clip by going to load game, even if you don't have any game saved. Let's see if it works. Okay. Nothing available. Okay. 
Okay, when there's nothing available, then you put save game. Now you have a save game. And then you can go to load game. And you load that game. The things you do to avoid a long ass movie clip at the beginning of the game. The problem with the GameCube version is that it was 30 FPS. And this is 60, smooth 60 FPS. Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Why they make me watch that? I was trying to get to the next, the first level. Yeah, I recommend playing the PS2 version of this game if you're going to play this game. What are you looking at, fuzzhead? As you see, it plays Morocco, great. The Earth Elemental. Uka, uka. Uka, uka. Yeah, GameCube, uh, the GameCube one is 30 FPS until you get to, until you jump in the air. Then for some reason, 60 FPS in the air. I don't, I don't understand that. Oh shit, I almost slid into the bridge. Not good. Oh shit, I didn't do that on purpose. Oh wow, I spent a lot of time on this game. I didn't mean to spend too much time on this game. It's kind of addictive. Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay. This game is Dark Watch. Which is a classic. One of those games I bought towards the end of the PS2 era and never really got into. And then I seen gameplay later on in life and I said, wow, why did I not play this game? 
And playing it now is not easy either because uh, it doesn't have the first person shooter style controllers that we're used to now. It's weird. You got the same analog stick turns and walks at the same time. No, it strafes and walks at the same time. And turning is the other one. I find this very weird. Press melee to hit the door. How do I pick up the gun? You don't? I guess the controls is, is actually normal now I think about it. The only thing is, uh... The sensitivity is so bad, I mean... No accuracy in it. Because, yeah, turning is supposed to be on this. So it actually does feel correct. I'm thinking of uh, Area 51, then. Area 51 controls is so weird. Um... This is almost as bad. More guns on the wall that I can't get. really hard to aim. The sensitivity is suck. He had a boss ass gun like that and he still died. To a basic vampire. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there's a way better gun than that terrible gun they gave you. Still, as you can see, the sensitivity is just crap. Yeah, this is a good game, guys. You gotta give it a chance. If you haven't played it, Dark Watch is the name of the game. But let's move on to the next one. Hold it right there. Take it easy, partner. You got no clue what you're into. There's no gold in that vault. Oh, the hell with it. No! Huh. Oh. Alright, we got Def Jam Fight for New York. This game is not a PS2 exclusive. However, I do rather play the PS2 version over the GameCube and Wii version. No particular reason, just the emulator feels like it's better for 2x resolution.
let's go to a fight. Free for all, here we go. No, I don't want to enter ID. Whack. All right, this will be a good test. I tested this before with two, one versus one, but let's try to see if we can do two v two. I mean, four four player and see if there's a difference. I haven't done four player yet. Maybe it'll lag. This will be interesting. But yeah, one on one uh, is fine um, with these settings. I haven't tried four. The GameCube emulator lags when you put four people on the same t team until you lower the resolution. Let's see if that happens on this one. There is always some crazy ass stuff going down at the foundation. Let's see some fighters bring it on. I don't remember how to play this game. I'm letting y'all know right now. Hey, yo, you sure you want some of this? Dead man walking over here. I'm going to take your tongue out and lick my ass with it. Game day, punk, and you about to take one for the team. With fists like these, I don't even got to pack no heat. Ah, oh, shit. Pay attention. It's about to begin. Four players seem fine. Let me see if I can... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm being disrespected right now. Okay. Um, I am being disrespected. Hey, 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 where am I? Why are they teaming up on me? I can't even see myself. Oh, oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. I was butt mashing. No technique to it. Come on, I wasn't even fighting you. You're gonna do this crap to me. Oh, the disrespect. Oh, the disrespect. I'm done. Well, that just goes to show my skills. I used to be nice at this game once upon a time. So I guess having four people on the in the fight at the same time does not cause lag. That's good. Why Red Man and Method Man working together? What is this? <laughs> I see they lasted very long. I just got thrown around. Get red man, because he the one did that to me. I guess I got a rule for method man. Uh-oh. 
What are you running for? the next game all right this is final fantasy dirge Cerberus. i never played it i played it today though before i made this video <sighs> tested it for a few minutes skip the movie clip Yeah, I'm past the 30 minute mark. I actually did not want to do that. So I guess this will be the last game I'm going to test for now. And if you guys want any particular or specific games or want to see a second video of this, do let me know in the comments and I'm happy to oblige. But you stick with those settings, most games will be fine. The games that have too many weird graphical glitches, such as uh, that Castlevania game, you want to switch to OpenGL for that. Alright, let's see if I can do this without looking like a noob. Okay. Guy needs a machine gun or something. Hard aim. Oh shit. Yeah. You thought you had me. Well, you thought wrong. Oh look, secrets. So how do I use items? Oh. Oh. Ew. Ew. I'm learning. There we go. We use the potion. We pick up the potion. We use the potion. We pick it up. That's all. Alright, this game runs fine. You will get some random dips. I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, dip down for like one second. But other than that, I think you should be fine playing this game. Why is this guy so boss? He ain't supposed to be that boss. I got machine gun bullets and no machine gun. Disrespect. Now where am I supposed to meet Reed? Almost shot a civilian. All right, now we now we're dropping frames. We gotta figure out why. Yeah, we're dropping frames in this game. Okay. Now what could cause that? So this game doesn't run good in 2x. I mean, it looks great. Oh, you know what? Leave it now. Nah, leave it at 2. I forgot. You know, we got a turbo button. Yeah. Unless you're trying to save battery. Yeah, leave it at leave it at 2x now. I think about it. Just press the turbo button. Should solve any lag. No? Nope. A 
okay, turbo button didn't work, so so it's something else. It must be the resolution then. So maybe this game you have to play, I mean not have to, but um, best to play in native resolution. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't want any dips or slowdowns when there's too much going on, then just play this game in native resolution. Actually, it looks pretty damn good for natives. It's probably because we have the anti-aliasing thing on. It looks really pretty good. But of course, at native, it is a little blurry. It leads me to believe that this game's resolution is a little bit higher than, than the other games. Just a little bit. I saw a free item over here. Nope, it still dips down. Hmm. Maybe it's an incompatibility thing? Well, with my settings, this is the only game that ever lost any kind of, F like, like, like that, 10 FPS. For like one second. So I really don't know what it could be. I was just about to turn it off too. Yeah, 37 FPS. What's going on here? And then it goes back up. I guess this game is special. Now there, now some games you're gonna need the CRC hacks. I'm sorry, the not the CRC hacks. This might be one of those games that you need the uh, the hacks in order to get to work. I mean, in order to get to work smoothly. Was, uh, Apparently, there's a shaky shit going on here. Oh. Random FPS dips. Use key? What? Oh. I don't have key. Who shoot at me? How dare you? You don't deserve getting shot. Where well, I'm gonna get this key? Where's this key? Anyways, let's go to the next game here. Okay, I know I said last game was my last game, but uh, I guess this is my last game because I forgot. <laughs> so, this is Maximo Ghost to Glory, the first Maximo. Um, yeah. Same setting should be fine with this game as well. Wish it would stop auto focusing when it's a black screen. Oh, there's no long movie clip in this game. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played Mass Effect. Oh, yes. Skippable. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wait. We're still in native from the last game. Yeah, we're going to turn that up. We don't want to play native resolution. Native resolution on this game look real blurry. Not like the other game. Let's turn that up to uh, at least 2x. But, yeah, some games you'll be able to turn up to, like, 3x. Let's put this in 2k. Let's put this in 2K. See, uh, 2K is not not an issue. There's not a lot going on either, so probably once stuff start happening. Nope. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an example. Not all games you have to run in uh, 2X. I was just letting you guys know the best universal settings. Otherwise, you got to keep switching back and forth between settings every game you run. If you don't want to do that, just follow these uh, this basic 2x setting because it's compatible with most games, and it looks pretty good. It doesn't look blurry or anything like that. Hmm. 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 Alright. Now we're 
cooking with bacon. Wait, that requires a key. Aha! Uh -huh. We're the monsters. We're the zombies and the monsters. Oh, so sorry. That was a nice try. Oh, so sorry. You did not. It was not your day that day. Oh, I'm so sorry. You didn't stand a chance. Oh, so sorry. You did not stand a chance. Oh. Oh, shit. They tried it. Zombies! Huh? <laughs> I thought I made that jump. Anyway. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate you. And um, thank you. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. Um, didn't expect my channel to even get that far. But, yeah, again, if you guys want to see anything else other than PS2, obviously, leave it in the comments. Or if you guys want to see PS2 games, give me a list. You know, let me uh, have some ideas of what y'all want to see because I don't even know if this video would be worth watching because it probably didn't try any of the, your favorite games. All right. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.